Hello! Welcome to Quake 4, the last of my dedication. Because I'm awesome, and we're finally getting there. But you know who's more awesome? You guys. That one person who stuck with me throughout all the horrible times I had through Quake 2. Um, thank you! And, uh, this game's a whole lot better. So, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be, uh, trying not to shoot yourself in the foot. Hit a moving target, usually. Shoot first, ask questions later. Unstoppable death machine. Yeah, we're gonna go with Lieutenant. Cause why not? I think I can do this. I hope. And loading screens, yay! Who misses loading screens? You know what, I bet you, in the back, sitting there with your hand up? Yeah, you miss loading screens. Yeah, well here's some loading screen for you. I know it's just the coolest thing ever, it's got the little logo and the little bar that slowly fills. You know, it's, it's awesome. What game would be complete without a loading screen? Yeah, okay, there we go. Space, the final frontier. He looks out. And he's missing half his face. Well, not really half his face, just kind of like the eyeball. And his legs. That sucks. You like these graphics? It's like the exact same thing as Doom 3. Even though this came out like two years later. If not later than that. I don't know. The back of the box. Right here. Says it came out in 2005. It's been a decade. And it's a trap. I would read the back, but I don't know if they're going to talk soon. I'll look up when Doom 3 came out, or we can have a comparison. Warning, incoming attack. Alright you maggots, haul ass or die! Go, go, go! We're clear! Oh, well, well. 2004. Shit. I guess one year Some before. Ride, eh, buddy? Who's the new guy? Matthew Kane. One certified badass. A man like Kane could get us killed. Shut the hell up, Strauss. You're the Tell silent me. protagonist. The war against the Strog. A lone Marine battled through enemy lines and killed the Strog's leader, the Macron. He's also disabled the Strog planetary defense guns, so it's a ground pounder's war from here on out. HQ has ordered us to assist clearing out a landing zone for a mobile command center. That is the, like, one time they'll mention Quake 2. In case you're wondering. Oh! Apparently we didn't have the dodgery dudes going there. And I just hit the mic. I apologize. So anyway, Quake 4. In a desperate war for Earth's survival against an unrelenting alien enemy, the only way to defeat them is to become one of them. Armed with advanced weaponry and vehicles and aided by an elite squad of marines, you take the battle to the heart of the Strog home planet and become Earth's only hope for victory. Sucks to be that guy, by the way. That's what the back of the box says. Yeah, I comes with four discs. You have to install like disc one, and ding, disc two, and ding, disc three, and ding. Yeah, had to do that. And then after disc four is done, you have to put in disc one again. Yeah, how does that make sense, right? There's our little. Two shooter. You have unlimited ammo. You can charge it up. You're not dead. Bloop. Lucky for you, Lieutenant Vossel's in a hurry to move out. Rhodes wanted to bury you. 
The LT left orders that everyone's supposed to hook up with the squad ASAP. Let's go through those doors. You'll run into him eventually. Yeah, so we're Rhino Squad. See on his uh little side right there? He's got a little rhino patch. That's what our guy has. Not that we will ever see that. And this is running, by the way. This is walking. This is running. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a bit of a problem. It gets better later. Give me some drugs. Give me some drugs. Ah, uh, drugs. Sure. So, Doom 3. Biggest... Actually, isn't there something under here? Is there nothing under here? No, I thought I remembered armor or something. Anyway, remember Doom 3? You had to uh, switch between like holding a flashlight and actually having a weapon. Well, they fixed it by putting it on the gun. It's amazing. For those of you who haven't played Doom 3, we will be getting to that after this game. Um, I'm going to be doing the first two Dooms, and then Doom 3, and then maybe it's expansions, I don't know. I've never actually beaten Doom 3 legitimately. The boss, the big demon, you got to use a little sphere. That, yeah, I could never figure out how to do that. So, I'll probably look that up before I get there and figure out how to do it. That way, I'm not just, like, running in circles. Anyway. So yeah, they're uh, bad guys, they do damages, terrible stuff. That's a guy. Oh. So your little charge blast does quite the damage. If you can hit him with it. It does do a little bit of splash damage too, not much. You might be better off just shooting. And yeah, oh, we're, we're almost dead again. That's what happens. These two are Badger. Hey, they're Badger Squad, they said in the beginning. Hey, a little, little Badger symbol on that. Hold still, buddy. I'm trying to show off here. Would you? Yeah. Oh. Alright, he's not moving. See, you can kind of see the little Badger. We'll see more of them. They're, they're a good bunch. They're uh, nice meat shields. Really. What they are. Uh... <laughs> They're not main characters, so they die. A lot. Hey! You can't save that guy. Which is sad. Saddens me. Oh, hey, look! Yeah, remember these things? Yeah, they're, they're awesome. Um. Aww. Sorry, man. I need a better... Ooh. Look at this. Reload. Yeah, you actually reload your guns. It's weird. First Quake to let you do that. First Quake to feature reload. Of course, Doom 3, coming out a year previously, did have that feature. They probably run on the same engine, I would assume. Because the graphics are so similar. Nice. He's got a shotgun. Cool. So you'll notice on the gun, it's got that little crosshair thingy, and ammo count right there on the gun too. That's nice touch, I think. In my opinion, it looks good. It works. So you notice everything's green. Apparently, the Marines like green. Strong like orange, as we'll find out soon enough. I don't know if shooting in there actually does damage to him, but it seems to. Because he goes down pretty quickly. See this ugly torso thing yeah more on that later okay badges
That sucks. HQ, I have a man down and require a medic. HQ, come in. Yeah, they don't care about you. Squibs must be jamming our signal. Kovic, what took you so long to get back? Sorry, Sarge. I had a run in with a Strug. I met this Marine from Rhino Squad. Your Rhino Squad? Yep. I tell it back to the landing site, grab your medic, and bring him here. <laughs> anyway, we have to go. I think that guy is uh, Jason's favorite voice actor. Sounds very similar. And you'll notice, different guns have different crosshairs. You can set it so they're all the same, but I figured I'd let them switch on their own, because it's kind of neat that it does that. I was about to say, I don't want that guy to hit me, but oh well. Okay, he did die. What the? They feel the need to announce themselves. I don't understand why. I guess that's just a bad guy thing? I don't know. See, so taking damage isn't very good, but... Uh, we're getting a medic, so I'm not too concerned with it. That guy's dead. Yeah. Oh! Wow. I actually didn't die here last time. This is... this is awkward. Okay, round two. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. Yeah, so like I was saying, I think that guy replaced the uh, trespasser people. Man, that guy hurt. Maybe shooting him in the head does give you more, uh... <laughs> More damage. Hey, you medic! You should poke me. You should poke me. You should poke me. Son of a bitch. Poke me! How do I get him to poke me? Okay, apparently he doesn't want to poke me. <clears throat> so, he is quest essential, pretty much. Um, so I'm pretty sure... By pretty sure, I mean like 99.9% .9 sure that he can't die. That being said, use him as a meat shield. Um, that other guy from earlier couldn't die either because he was quest essential. We will be running into marines who can in fact die and depending on how you play they will die so keep that in mind. Where am I going? The hell? Is this where that dude got? Oh, it is. Um. Okay. I lost. Why is this leading nowhere? Am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb. But yeah, I am being dumb. I got lost and I've already died. Within like the first. Five minutes. This is terrible. So many lives wasted. Hey, you want to poke me? Damn it! I need your dirty needles. Orbital artillery has just been informed. Bombardment to commence in three, two, one. I guess if you get 
below a certain threshold, he'll heal you. Yeah, see, he just takes the hit like a champ. We clear? Yeah, we're clear. Yeah, it's full auto when you're hip firing, but when you zoom in, it goes to semi auto, which is kind of annoying, but makes sense. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Here. I want that helmet. Can I have that helmet? Eh. You want helmet? I gave him a med pack and sedated him. He'll be okay. Yeah, two med packs next Thanks. to him. Kane, you're free to go now. Take that door and it'll get you to your squad. Thanks. There are no subtitles in this game, by the way. I know. It's stupid. Oh. Ah, so you did survive. <laughs> I won the bet with Rose. We were not properly introduced. I am Alejandro Cortez, Rhino Squad Sharpshooter. Lieutenant Voss stationed me here to guard the flight. But you are to proceed that way and rendezvous with the rest of our squad. I like Cortez. He's pretty awesome. Obviously, he just shot that guy in the face without even looking at him. So, that's, that's like the epitome of awesome. Bam, 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 bam. Wow. I can't believe this came out in 2005. It's ridiculous. And what else is ridiculous? Loading screens. Yeah, you, know, you missed them. Look at that. Look at that bar. So they, oh! Hey, this is Sergeant Bidwell. We need you here. Keys We got a Okay. Yeah, so you like actually do stuff with the squad and crap in this game. And it's kind of awesome. When I go back and play Doom 3, I'm gonna be bored and annoyed, I'm sure. Just because this is so interactive, um, comparatively. Advanced? I don't know really how would you how you phrase that. It just Quick save. It seems a lot more awesome just because. Just because you actually fight with teams and stuff at points. I, I mean, you still do your lone wolf thing and all that good stuff. But for the most part, you usually have uh, other people with you, which. just has this whole other feel of not being so alone and screwed, basically. There is life. Like, that's kind of how it is. Is that armor? Yeah, that's armor. I was getting armor, dude. Chill out. And the game auto saves for you, too. Yeah, so this is a war, as you remember. Raven Squad. There's a lot of squads. Like, three of them you never even see. Kodak. I'm pretty sure that guy can die. Be in your interest. It's in your best interest to keep your allies alive. So if you have to take a hit here or there for them, I would do so. Because having that extra firepower is awesome. Chill out, dude. There's another Kodak. There's Rhodes. Rhodes is pretty awesome too. There's Bidwell, he's kind of a jerk.